thank you for having me here today. I know Lisa said she was happy to have me, but in reality, I'm the one that's honored, really. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for having us out here. Um, thanks to Lisa for putting everything together. I think we can give you a round of applause. <laughs> I love the theme of the film, and I think we saw it when, uh, who was that? I think it was in the scene you were in. Angie looks a lot better in real life, doesn't she? <laughs> I said, poor Angie, 80% of the movie she had to look like, you know, so bad. But, um, but Katrine's trying to go at Angie, and uh, she says, you actually say it. You say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in you. And that's really the, I, I believe, the underlying theme of this uh, film. And it's found in the Bible in 1 John 4.4. 4. And it says, You are of God, little children, and you've overcome them. For greater is he, God, that is in you than he that is in the world. And the, the real anthem of Vista Films is to make entertainment that changes people's lives forever. And if you leave the theater with uh, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, you're going to approach your work differently. You're going to approach anything that you take on in life with greater, um, you know, authority, right? Authority and, and power. So um, that's that's basically all I wanted to share. I had a great time doing this film, and uh, I'm happy to see Angie again, too. This is really cool. I only saw her for like a split second because we had no scenes together. But um, So thanks, everyone. Thanks for being here. Well, I just want to point out the fact that there are people like Jim and Elias that are trying to do these kind of films. Because we have tons of other things going out out there that never um, want to bring out a message like this one. And it's very important to always support this kind of films and to spread the word, the word and ask people, you know, to come see. And our kids, too, our children that... You know, come see a movie of this type. It's, it's very, very important. And I am so grateful to be part of it. And, I mean, if Jim or Elias ever said to me, you know, want to be part of it again, I would definitely be part of it again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sebastian, and I have a question for Angie. How hard was it to get into character of a... A person that is possessed because you know <laughs> being a person of faith you know getting into character to something that is totally opposed to what your nature is how hard was that um but yeah i mean watching videos just you know looking at the the body movements the facial expressions i know it's something that it's very very deep um i mean you get into character you want to cry after you're done and it's uh I mean, you can, you can never be so prepared to do that kind of character. It's just so much. And for you to really, really do it, you actually, I think you really have to live it. And thank God. <laughs> I've never lived anything like that. But yeah, just, you know, watching videos and reading, doing a little research. What about the main character? I remember a night I spent with her, in particular, Stephanie my wife and uh, Kathy Ellis, the wife of Jim Ellis, and took her to the scripture on some questions she had personally, and she was really, really impacted by that. And I know the role she played meant a lot to her, and uh, when she left, she was also moved to tears too. She, it, I mean, the love of God just like permeates anything, any wall that we put up, it's just like, takes you back. And so I think that happened with Kristen as well. So. That was cool. There's a lot of deliverance on set. We prayed on set. Um, we, we did a lot of different things on set, which was great. So. Did you want to ask? Oh, just that I was still in tears today, and I've seen it four times. <laughs> <laughs> the book that was shown in the end, is that in print? Yeah, that book is not, not in print. It was just for the film. It'd be a great book, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> you can write it. After having watched it, how can um, just anyone who's a viewer be a part or help or support, um, you know, maybe the next film, not everyone, not all of us can act or, you know, but what are ways that we could be a part of it? Jim, Elias, Vista Films, they're going to continue to make films like this. I remember right after this film, 
they were already thinking about the next one. So if, if you or I want to get involved, I know one way is when the DVD comes out, you can buy that. Um, you know, I, I always, the things that uh, I believe in get my support financially. And um, so if you guys feel inclined, if you feel like this is something, um, Vista Film's belief is they believe in uh, making entertainment that changes people's lives forever. If you feel like that is something that's calling you, you're like, whoa, this is something I'm all about too. I want to see more of that. Then just support them. Support them financially. Support them with your prayers. Support them with, uh, shoot them an email after the film. You know, you guys don't know how much it impacts them when they get an email from you guys from, from watching the film. I've talked to Jim and Elias and that's what keeps them going, you know? At this point, this isn't a super lucrative opportunity, right? But when they get in the theaters and stuff, it will. But the thing that keeps them going is hearing your responses. And some people, I, I've heard of 12-year-old uh, kids that believe in God for the first time after they watch this film. Just believe in God for the first time after watching the film. Uh, the woman that the movie was based on, um, was she in any way involved? But yes, she was involved with the film. I, I don't know at the moment if they're sort of like releasing that information or if they just wanna, you know, let you know it's a true story. I think that's the main thing right now. Um, but if they wanna release that, they'll definitely tell you or it'll be on the that when you buy the DVD, it'll be in there, so. Did you get to Yes, yes I did. Thank you. Oh, okay, Angie didn't. She will, so. <laughs> well, thanks for being here today. Go out with that verse, 1 John 4, 4. Greater is he that is in you than he that is who? In the world. All right, go get him. <laughs>